For our next sketch, we're headed into the heart of the jungle, where only a few tendrils of sunlight penetrate the dense latticework of vines as intertwined as a cytoskeletal network of microtubules. Legend has it some kind of man-beast inhabits this jungle, a shadow glimpsed only briefly by a handful of scientists, explorers, and hunters. And during our quest to make contact with this mysterious creature, we're going to run across a few chemotherapeutic agents derived from natural plant alkaloids, vincristine, vinblastine, and the taxanes. All of these drugs affect microtubules, an important part of the cytoskeleton and mitotic spindle. These intracellular structures will be depicted by the microtubular vines that appear throughout this sketch. In short, you have two choices. You can inhibit the polymerization of microtubules, or you can enhance the microtubule polymerization and prevent their degradation. Either way, mitosis is inhibited. A useful effect when you're trying to control the proliferation of rapidly dividing cancer cells. We all know Edgar Rice Burroughs' original story, right? The archetypal feral child raised by gorillas. Me, Tarzan, you, Jane. You know, etc. Well, in this sketch, it's not Jane, but Christine, here to embody all that is Vin Christine, a Vinca alkaloid. That's right, before she was lead soprano at the Palais Garnier Opera House and rebuffing the affections of the Phantom of the Alpha, Christine found herself immersed in an entirely different novel, marooned in the jungle with the rest of her exploration party. See those microtubular vines wrapping her as she calls for help? If you look closely, you'll notice that they resemble a mitotic spindle breaking apart. That's because vincristine works by binding to tubulin building blocks and preventing their polymerization and thus inhibiting microtubule production and the assembly of the mitotic spindle. This inhibitory effect arrests the cell in metaphase, and cell division is brought to a halt, which leads to cell death. Let's face it, the original novels weren't literary masterpieces, so let's skip ahead a bit. Continuing our theme of preventing microtubule polymerization, enter vinblastine, represented by the hunter in the party who just learned that Christine has made contact with the beast on several occasions, yet will not share his whereabouts. So, he has her tethered to the canopy as bait and blasts away with his vine-blasting musket. Vinblastine is another vinca alkaloid with a mechanism of action and clinical pharmacology identical to those of vincristine. In other words, it binds beta-tubulin and inhibits its polymerization into microtubules, thus preventing mitotic spindle formation and cell division, leading to cell death. Again, disruption of the mitotic spindle means that cells will be arrested in M phase of the cell cycle when cells are normally undergoing mitosis or cellular division. So, since these agents are cell cycle specific, we've highlighted M phase here with this M being formed as a monkey swings from vine to vine. The vinca alkaloids are effective in treating many different hematologic and solid malignancies. Specifically, vincristine treats ALL, multiple myeloma, Hodgkin's and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, as well as numerous pediatric tumors including rhabdomyosarcoma, neuroblastoma, Ewing sarcoma, and Wilms tumor. Vinblastine also treats lymphomas as well as solid tumors such as breast cancer and germ cell cancer. And just as a little reminder that we're talking chemotherapeutics here, we've included this cracked cancer crab dinner which our angry hunter was right in the middle of until he heard some rustling in the trees up there. He's finally drawn him out. Show yourself, savage! The main dose-limiting toxicity of vincristine is neurotoxicity. This usually manifests as a peripheral sensory neuropathy in a stocking glove distribution, hence the fashionable stockings and gloves worn by our English socialite over here. Autonomic nervous system dysfunction with orthostatic hypotension, urinary retention, and paralytic ileus has also been observed. Paralytic ileus specifically is represented here by our recurring sketchy theme for constipation, a plunger, this time being held by one of Christine's monkey allies who tries to help her break free with a plunger. He's a monkey, not a thinker. See that bald spot, by the way? Because they disrupt the progression of mitosis in rapidly dividing cells throughout the body, including hair follicle cells, vincristine and vinblastine are associated with alopecia. Vinblastine, specifically, is associated with myelosuppression. 
While vincristine 2 is associated with bone marrow toxicity, it's generally milder and much less significant than with vinblastine. Just remember that vinblastine blasts your bones. I mean, just look at the bones strewn in front of our ruthless hunter here as he hunts down his next trophy. The most dangerous game. Ah, here comes the savage now. Animal instincts as unbridled as his sparsely girded loins, it's Tarzan of the Apes. Tarzan will embody the taxanes, a group of plant alkaloid derivatives that bind directly to microtubules, just like Tarzan here who grabs directly onto that microtubular vine just before swinging to Christine's aid. So far we've focused on preventing the polymerization of microtubules and the mitotic spindle. The taxanes, such as paclitaxel, docetaxel, and cabazitaxel work a bit differently. Almost paradoxically, these agents inhibit cellular proliferation by stabilizing microtubules and preventing their degradation. Weird, right? Take a look. See Tarzan's monkey comrade here? He quickly grabs onto that microtubular vine and stabilizes it. That's right, taxanes bind with high affinity to microtubules and enhance tubulin polymerization. Not only that, they stabilize existing microtubules and prevent their degradation. This promotion of microtubule assembly inhibits proper mitotic spindle production and cell division, leading to cell death. Again, cells will be arrested in M phase, so keep in mind that big M formed in the background over there. The taxanes are associated with many of the same side effects as the other antimicrotubule agents. This includes alopecia, due to inhibition of rapidly dividing hair follicle cells, and neurotoxicity. As he holds on to Christine's glove and gives the hunter a vengeful and unsettlingly penetrating glare, definitely some higher order thinking behind those eyes. Remember that stocking glove peripheral neuropathy associated with antimicrotubule agents. The taxanes are also associated with myelosuppression, so keep in mind those marrow depleted bones strewn in front of the barbaric hunter. Yeah, barbaric, I said it. Who's the animal and who's the intelligent being here? The hunter becomes the hunted, who hunts the huntsman. I'll just stop talking now.